Hello plant people, how are you guys doing today? If you're new around here, my name's Ashley and I'm a soul scientist, but today I'm a hoarder. So I'm gonna show you ways that I use garbage in the garden and how they actually increase my yield and reduce my transplant shock. And this is kind of one of my famous hacks, I guess you could say, that I've gotten a lot of requests on exactly how I make them. So let's just jump straight into it. So what I'm gonna be doing here for the next few videos, quite a few videos, is I'm gonna do short videos where I'm basically going to bring the garden and the mic around with me in the garden, and I'm gonna show you what I do and just how practical I really am. I'm not snooty, I'm not fancy when it comes to gardening. I'm about getting yields and just getting things done. So one thing that I do do is I use cylindrical containers, such as these five gallon pails behind me, to harden off my plants. Now I'll do a whole video on different ways I harden off my plants without hardening them off to begin with, but one of the main ones is using stuff like this. So I essentially cut the bottoms off of cylindrical type things that I collect over the winter time, and then I use them as containers that I put over top, and these will last for years. I mean, my five gallon pail buckets I've had for 10 years, and my coffee ones, I mean, I've had for a very long time as well. And I've even collected larger size things like popcorn from Christmas, you name it. So let me show you how I cut the bottoms off because that was one of the number one questions I definitely got last year. So my husband's gonna have plastic all over the garage, but honey, I love you if you're watching and you're probably watching from the security cameras anyways and gonna vote to blow my phone up. But nonetheless, you guys are gonna want some safety glasses because plastic likes to fly all over the place and a vice grip preferably so you can save your fingers. If you don't have a vice grip, then you can simply use your hands or have someone hold it, but be very, very careful. So safety glasses on, I'm gonna show you what the process looks like. So when it comes to this entire process, I urge you to use whatever you're comfortable with. If it's not power tools, then simply use something not so powerful, like a hacksaw or whatever the case is. But these don't have to be perfect, and they actually last a decent amount of time. You also may want to wear a mask. I think I breathed in some plastic. But other than that, very simple, and you can pretty much do anything that is cylindrical. Now that I'm full of plastic, let me show you how I use them. Okay, so essentially all I'm going to do now is throw them over top and I will leave them on top of my plants for approximately 14 days until I know they are out of the transplant shock phase. And what this protection is doing is two things. First, it's guarding it from really intense sun. And secondly, it's guarding it from really intense wind or evaporation or evapotranspiration in general. So the entire purpose of the hardening off process is to slowly adapt our plant to varying rates of evapotranspiration, which means water loss from the system as a whole, soil, leaves, you name it, as well as protecting the plants as they build up a bit of sunblock or the base tan as we like to call it here in the human world. So those will allow that to happen and once I believe everything is well established, I can remove it. Now if you've already hardened them off, this is another great way to safely transplant and just reduce transplant shock in general. But remember, when you transplant you also want to use a fertilizer, preferably liquid, that is high in phosphorus and potassium because that is going to again help buffer that transplant shock process. I've been doing this for years and I actually learned the entire thing from my grandma. She's used coffee tins, cedar shingles, and then the five gallon pail bucket method as long as I've known her and there's zero losses from transplants. So I do have some other methods because I have some plants in really awkward areas and I'm going to show you how I'm going to harden them off without hardening them off because like I said these plants were not hardened off and I never really do the true hardening off process ever because I'm lazy and I'm a super busy person so anyways I want to thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed the video be sure to give it a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and let me know in the comments down below how you harden off your plants or if you just skip the process entirely and use kind of like a shade block instead I'll talk to you guys next time bye